Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Actually, this is more of an announcement than a video. It's first thing in the morning, so you have to forgive uh, <clears throat> my brain. Last night before I went to bed, I went ahead and asked everyone a question on the community tab on my channel as to if they're liking the Spore videos or not. Now I can tell just by looking at the Spore videos that it's getting sometimes half or even less than half of the normal views from KSP. Now I realize that this is mostly a KSP channel, so most of you that have subscribed are here mainly for KSP. And that's cool. Lord knows that the whole channel started on the foundation of playing the game Kerbal Space Program. And Kerbal Space Pro... Pro what? I almost said program. Program is a very fun and creative game, obviously. I was actually thinking of downloading a mod that had some sort of solar system planet adding retexture thing going on. And maybe even that uh, stock reskin texture to spicing things up a little bit since normal stock gameplay after eight years of playing on this channel has gotten a, a, a slightly bland. Just a little bit. Figured maybe I'd spice things up like that. I actually tried downloading different mods last night and unfortunately for some reason the updated scatterer as well as the I think it was called Precursor Planet Pack, froze the game. I don't know what happened or what was going on, but I had to delete them both and just, just to start the game up. However, I did download an updated version of Simple Construction that seems to be working. So that's definitely a plus because now I'm going to start a series of colonization in Sandbox. So my full creative power using all of the parts in Sandbox and all of the upgrades will now commence. So that should be fun. I should get plenty of videos out of that just starting from Kerbin and the goal is to colonize every single moon and planet in the solar system as well as orbits. Can't colonize planets without having space stations and satellites in orbits. Not only orbits of the moons and the planets but also orbits around the sun in certain areas kind of like kind of like stop, you know, fuel stations and stuff. Because in the future, I could see that happening. People don't want to be on a moon. People don't want to be on a planet. And so they start building an actual space station orbiting the sun. And it's this huge, beautifully constructed space station. Not like a big fat one, but like literally you can fly inside of it and go around it. Almost like a best way to describe it. Actually, I have no way to describe it. <laughs> but it's huge and it's, you know, stuff is added to it all the time. And so it just grows over time, and it's it's this beautiful collective mass of space station buildings that just grows and grows over time. And when you fly through it, it's got it's got maybe like streets and stuff in a sense, where you see a bunch of ships flying through the main corridor of the giant stations that are all connected together. And as they're flying, there's like holographic or signs up. Buy here, come here, fuel up here. Want new space date? Want, uh, not space, but do you want new spaceship parts? Come here now. Docking space is available. And it's just this giant city in space. That's, that's better actually to describe it. Not a giant space station orbiting the sun, but a giant city orbiting the sun would be kind of cool. So I could see stuff like that. So that would definitely be something. Of course, part count would be a thing, so we can't make it super giant huge. We could use some fairings and stuff, maybe, to try to kill the part count, or even download the weld mod if it still works. Like I said, on the community tab, I put out a I put out a poll to ask people if they like the spore videos or not. And so far, almost 50% of everyone says they love it. 1% say they hate it, and anywhere between 10 to 20% said they it's okay, not really their cup of tea. They'd rather watch KSP videos. So 20% out of 50% is, well, half the audience so far that would rather watch KSP videos. Now, does this mean I'm going to stop with KSP? Oh, excuse me. Stop with Spore altogether? Uh, no. But unfortunately, I will probably be putting a backseat on it in favor of this KSP solar system expansion idea that I've got going on with the new simple construction mod. And when I can, I can put out Spore videos, sort of a background video thing. So after a KSP video comes out, and if I have time and I'm, I'm able to make a sport video, I could put that out too on the same day, later on in the day, several hours after the KSP video drops. 
Now, I know a lot of people who love the Spore series that I was working on are going to kind of be pissed off at this, and I want to apologize. But it is, even though it is a labor of love to make these videos for everyone, and I appreciate and love you all for your support, I'm also trying to work really hard. And I see myself, I'm, I'm asking myself, within five years, where do I see myself with YouTube? And I want to think, I want to believe that in five years, I'll be actually able to to support myself enough on YouTube to possibly do this thing, to possibly be able to record videos for a living. I know people who, I know people, like no, no people, right? No, no people who are doing this. Granted, they were on YouTube for about six or seven years before they finally hit that sweet 100,000 subscriber mark, in which case their AdSense and as well as like Patreon page and I guess they were doing t-shirts also merch and whatnot as well as the membership youtube thing that's going on now between all those four different channels of income they're able to support themselves and make videos make one or even two videos a day easily because you know they don't have to go to a in my case 7 to 3 30 or 7 to 5 30 job they can just stay at home and work on videos for entertainment and be supported by it now that's the dream i know that that's the dream not everybody gets there but I know people, literally talk to and know people who are there. So it's not impossible, it just takes a lot of hard work and dedication. It's one of the reasons why I'm making a video every single day now. And I try to do it without fail. Because that's the algorithm, that's the discipline that you need to succeed. And I'm not saying I'm going to make it overnight. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to see myself within five years where I'm going to be. And if I keep on doing this every single day for five years... And hopefully switching up different different games and trying to expand expansion hurts i mean they told me that right off the bat some of these people that i'm talking about were ksp players and when they started going into different areas different genres i mean their view count dropped severely but they kept at it and within a year or two they started gif getting uh, members and subscribers that were interested in watching only them play the game because of the fact that they were funny and they were engaging so it doesn't matter what they played they were funny and engaging period so that's that's who that's why people were tuning in to watch them play a game for entertainment now obviously that's where i'm obviously trying to go i'm trying to not stick with just ksp but move on into different genres and i i see where they're talking i see what they're talking about especially when you're when your channel is based on one game and so many of the subscribers are there for that game not you but that game so as soon as you start shooting off into different genres they don't watch it because it's not that game that they that they like the reason why they subscribe to begin with growing a channel is like raising a child if you neglect it it's gonna die so that's why i'm here every day now i just want to remind all of you who are watching that the fact that you even subscribe to this channel, comment and like it, and many of you even share it in order for the views to be as high as they are for every video. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really humbled by that experience. I, I feel like I don't deserve it, but all of you are amazing and I can't thank you enough. Now, I do realize that in order to grow the channel, things like t-shirt designs and membership stuff that this YouTube thing's got going on now could be a could be a way to do it I used to have a patreon a long time ago but that was when they first started and there was a lot of questionable things they were there they were doing with like taxes and stuff when it came time to you know pay up and whatnot it was pretty much they gave you the money and they're like oh taxes uh, that's on you bro and I'm like well wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> oh, hold on I, I don't I I don't need the uh, Uncle Sam to be knocking on my door here. You owe us. Oh, no, wait a minute. Ah, that's scary. So that's the reason why I dropped them. But I might start back up again. From what I understand, they got their shit straight now. So things like Patreon, the membership program from YouTube, and stuff like t-shirt designs. That's all things that are definitely coming in the future. I think t-shirt designs will come first. Membership may be later. And Patreon will probably be the last thing I'll start up. Because, I, I, you know, in my heart, I believe that if you're going to send money to, to a creator that you enjoy watching to support them, you should receive something back in return. And so these videos are absolutely free. 
You can watch them and go on your way, and that's fine. All I ask is maybe put a like up there and, you know, perhaps share it if you have the time. But you don't need to subscribe and you don't need to put a comment down. But the liking and sharing bit is massively, hugely, extremely helpful by themselves. And if I've earned your subscription, then I've earned your subscription, but only after I've earned it. I'm not one of those people who'll be like, in the very beginning of the video, before you even watch the damn thing, be like, subscribe and like now. It's like, wait a minute, I haven't watched your content. Well, why would I even do that? You know, doesn't make any sense. Which is why I leave the whole like, share, subscribe at the very back of the video. Mainly because hopefully you've already watched the entire video. And then you can make an educated decision whether or not you want to subscribe, like, or share. And hopefully I've earned your subscription, like, and share by then. But like something like a t-shirt would be interesting because if you bought it and some of the money went towards supporting the channel, you'd get something in return that you want, right? And of course the t-shirts would be more of an art thing. Some of them might be KSP-ish oriented, but as an artist I would make things like dragon skulls and maybe even a wicked looking sword or some cool logo, something awesome, you know? That way you can have a, definitely you can have options. It's not like, I see a lot of these KSP channels only sell KSP merch, and it's like, well, that's fun, but uh, do you have anything else? <laughs> anyway, I've got to start getting ready to go to work here. <coughs> I've been starting to work weekends now in order to make overtime so I can pay for bills, which is, uh, it's kind of hurting the video qualities, and I do apologize for that. But the world runs on money. You can't buy food with love. I've tried. The cashier ran away as I tried to hug her. It does not work. So yeah, we're looking at KSP videos again, and Spore will be put on the back burner for now. If anyone's wondering about am I, uh, like how much money I'm making on AdSense, I think I've said it once or twice in, in uh, streams. It's like 40 or $50 a month, and you only get the money after it accumulates to a hundred dollars or more it's like a little threshold that google's got going on so i get paid about a hundred bucks every two months for what i do which supports fuel and groceries a little bit and it's better than nothing so i'm very thankful for it but like i said i know people who do this thing for do this kind of thing for a living and they have like 100 200 subscribers and their adsense is enough uh, combined with the Patreon and the memberships and the t-shirts and everything to where they can support themselves off of it and put all their effort and concentration into the channel. So hopefully within five years I can see myself either doing that or close to doing that. It's a goal and I'm gonna stick to it to the best of my abilities. Again I want to thank everyone for being so supportive of this channel. I've been doing this for eight, nine years. I can't even remember. I've been playing the game ever since it really, ever since it came out. But I, I do believe that it's time to start expanding. So while KSP is going to still be a massive part of this channel, eventually, we are going to move on. And I hope that many of you will support me in this endeavor. In endeavor? Did I say Denver? I don't know. Well, that's all I got for today. Look forward to another KSP video in the morning as we colonize the solar system. It'd be cool if I could get the planet mod working. Unfortunately, it's not working. It'd be kind of interesting to it'd be kind of interesting to colonize a different solar system. Pretend like we arrive there in a big giant mothership or something and start colonizing and stuff. But anyway, this will work for now. Simple construction mod, and we'll just go ahead and colonize the solar system, the original stock solar system of KSP. All right, I'll see you all later. Please take care. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.